Chris here coming at you from Boston, Massachusetts, Acumobility headquarters with co-founder Brad Cox. We're going to do some work on the, the shoulders. So a, a lot of people kind of miss their mobility work is a, not understanding the whole philosophy. So we want to be able to open up those ranges of motion, but then we want to use it and pattern it and tell the body it's okay and safe. So we want to load and work in those ranges. And so we're going to work all that together with a couple amazing products. The load here is the thing that glues all of this together, right? And that's the piece where a lot of people miss, is that they don't incorporate that, right? And then they wonder why their mobility work doesn't stick. Well, why you gotta keep doing it over and over right. again. Right, you're doing something wrong if you have to keep repeating the same mobility work over and over. The idea is that we're gonna hack into the nervous system, create an opportunity, but then you have to pattern that. And for that, we're gonna use the Acumen Mobility Ball, Ultimate Back Roller, and then the Shoulder Rock, which is my favorite tool for patterning and strengthening stability, right? And core packing, for overhead, pressing, pulling, really everything. So shoulder and shoulders. Any, any, yes, and, you know, like this is our go-to yeah. that we use for like loading the shoulder for patterning purposes. All right, well let's do this. Like a roll. We're gonna show you a modified version of the vice technique using the end of the shoulder rock here, right? So this is the exact same head that we have on the active mobility ball then, right? Now you can do this technique either with the boomstick or the end of the shoulder rock here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, in this case, a level two active mobility ball we're going to place it under Chris's lat here, all right? That's going to create a shelf like this, all right? Which is going to allow me to apply pressure with this end, creating compression from both sides here, right? So I'm going to drive down into that active mobility ball as he then goes through overhead reach patterns, okay? We call this the vice technique. And this is an incredibly effective way of improving range of motion. You're going to get in here, look for six out of 10, do a little rotation, grab it the fascia, and have him go through about five to seven reps working overhead, breathing into it, right? You can look for feedback, look for tolerance here. And we find that we get enormous gains in overhead range of motion that hold way better than when we do either of these with just a single tool. So we're gonna apply that pressure. Now you can find a few spots, right? So we were using the edge of the lat here. We can also move the ball a little off higher here and then get into subscan. Now for that, you'd be going at about a 45 degree angle aiming for the back of the scapula here, okay? Now you wanna make sure that when you're doing this, that you are applying pressure only into the muscle, right? So you're looking for feedback from them. Give a little, all good, perfect, right? Six out of 10, no more, right? This can be a very tender area. Avoid the nerves in here. You will know if you're on a nerve, right? We want it doesn't to need to be a great deal of time. So again, that four to five repetitions is the sweet spot. Really about 60 to 90 seconds, and you'll see, um, I think, a uh, good rule of thumb is, you know, stop when you quit making progress or when you've achieved the desired result. Right, which can happen pretty quick. Okay. All right, so the idea is you're gonna work through different trigger points there, isolating lats, serratus, you can even get to the back of some of those external rotators because the way the ball pushes it out, subscap, right? And then we're gonna go into a pec release, right? So for this, we're gonna use the ultimate back roller and we're gonna do rolling up and down from bicep through the pecs here, okay? And then you can control how much pressure you're putting into this. And this really helps to open up the shoulder, right? Allowing us to get back right into position and get better lat engagement. So this, this is something we also do if you're going to be benching, if you're doing overhead pressing work, anything like that, right? So spend about 30 to 45 seconds on that. Find those good trigger points. Get that stretch. Open that up, right? And then we're going to go into some packing good overhead work with the shoulder. So this is a shoulder rock, we're going to go into a swing with it. What we want to do is maintain good sternal position with this, not going into extension. So you're going to feel a little bit of a brace while maintaining that. You're going to wait, let the weight drop behind you and keep it close. Close on the swing behind you, moving the shoulder through an entire range of motion. Slight pause, nice low position here in the stomach. Elbows and wrists staying at 90-90 working through both contract and relaxation phases, which is really important that we don't maintain this and separate it from doing something like a kettlebell halo uh, or club work where we're maintaining an on position all the time. That's really a big thing about the shoulder rock is the contract and relaxation phases involved with it. This is my favorite tool for this, right? Because you get enormous neurological change, right? Very quickly, talking like, 
few reps and you can feel everything just lock in, right? And you're getting through that full range of motion there. And so we've been using this clinically and in the gym with great results. Yeah. Uh, there is a very detailed, thorough progression video that comes with the purchase of this product. So um, much, much longer than the piece that we just seen. Yeah.